Hey everybody, J&A Review, and today we're at Triple H RV here in Haleyville, Alabama. Now, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, and give us that thumbs up. Now today, we've got a special. A 2023 KZ Sportsman fifth wheel. Now, model number is 231RK, and I'm gonna call this one short and sweet. You're gonna like this one. The length on this one is 24 feet, 10 inches. The dry weight is 6,200 pounds, and at hitch weight, 950 pounds. That is awesome. Now, normally we would say there is no possible way that you can pull a fifth wheel with a half ton truck. However, given the weights and the length on this one, if you have a very well equipped half ton, and I'm going to say something like with the 6.2, 6.3 liter with a really good tow package. Oh, yeah. You should be fine. Always check your specs, though, just to be sure. Is this not the cutest little fifth wheel I have ever seen? This may be the smallest one I've ever seen. It's, it's a cutie patootie. Cutie patootie. He won't let me call it that. All right, let's look at the storage on this one. Now. For something to be 24 feet long, you have got some really good storage under here. Your uh, dump's gonna be right down here. City connection is there. Black tank flush is right there. Yes. You got a propane. Now you also have oh. another dump valve. The, this is gonna be for your kitchen. And, and there's your water now here, because this one shower. is so small, this does not have auto leveling. So you're actually gonna have manual stabilizers here at the back. Um, and then you've got feet at the front. So, hey, wow. <laughs> let's let's finish this one on out. <laughs> this, this is awesome. Now we've done this model. Uh, I think we did a 21 model. 21 model. So they've, they've done a few updates and stuff to it. So we wanted to show you a new version. Now you've got one propane on this side. Now you're... Yes, to let down your feet here in the front, you're going to use this button. Yeah. And got some storage here in the front. Oh, yeah, all right. That's not bad storage at all. It is pre-wired for solar. That is awesome. Nice little LED lights here on your front cap. Let's see, this should be a second propane bottle. Yes, right there. There we go. And here's the other side of that storage. You know, for a little one, this is not bad. It is not bad. I was going to back up because it's really not going to take a lot to get the whole thing in the what in the I frame. Say, awning is 15. Uh, we think the awning's 15 feet long, so it's power awning with LED light under it here on the side. Outside speakers. It's just cute as it can be. Let's go inside Fresh and take water. a look. Oh my goodness! I'm just excited about this one. You see, it is a rear kitchen model and your living area. So I'm going to turn around. We're going to start right here when you come in the door. All right. So this is going to have a two-way gas um, electric, well, propane electric. Yeah, propane electric. So if you like to boondock or go off grid, you won't have any issues with your fridge. Microwave right up there. Food range. And that's going to be above your three burner cooktop with an oven. So, oh. so it's very impressive to have a small unit with an oven. Storage down below that. Let me go ahead and stay down here. Wow, nice drawers. Got some drawers. Awesome. All right. Uh oh, oh no. Right, we got to open it one, one at a time. One right? at a time. One at a time. I just lost my shades. All right, you got some good storage right up there. Here you've got a couple of windows. Now the windows back at the back are not open, um, but you have lots of natural light coming in. Large three, uh, oh my goodness, large single basin sink with a high rise faucet. Now this is gonna have sealed edge countertops. It does not have um, solid surface because they are trying to keep the weight down. But just a very nice rear kitchen layout. Over here in your slide, is going to be your theater seating. You have storage there in the middle with cup holders, the pleated blackout shades, windows all the way around. And those windows do open for mm -hmm. some airflow. Yeah, we've got a couple of them open right now. 
Uh, yes, but air is not flowing today. It's very warm. Uh, looks like you've got heat and massage and a USB port in here. Hey, let's have a seat. Yes, so if you sit here in your theater seat, you're gonna be right across from your dinette, which will drop down to make some additional sleeping. There's storage below it on one side. Yep. Not, not a lot, um, but you do have some storage under there. Um, nice window there that opens that looks out over your campsite. Storage Short right up side. above. Your TV is and mounted. It's on a swivel. And it does give you a Furion sound bar. And ooh, I just felt the breeze for a second. Wow. You know, that's not a bad <laughs> angle to watch TV. It is not, because see when you lean back, especially if you were to recline, that's not bad. Mm -mm. And while we're here, I can show you the AC unit. And you've got a skylight right over there. And we've got a surprise. This one has two. Oh, okay. Two ACs. Oh, all right. On this little 24 foot, <laughs> 10 inch camper. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. All right, before I get way too comfortable sitting here, let's move on in to the upper deck. Let me reveal this. Go ahead. Oh, all right, here we go. Woo. So here we are. <laughs> You've got um, two steps. Now, keep in mind, this is a small unit, so it is um, a mid-pro. It's not a slope. Let me turn around so you can see. Now, the, the bath, uh, well, the shower and sink area is actually open into the bathroom. And this is not bad. No, now, Jeremy's six feet tall, and there's a skylight. So, wow. Um, radius showers. Now, sometimes they're not the biggest in the world, but, hey, we can make it, you can make it nice. work. I like this. Yeah. Right next to that is going to be your sink and vanity area. Open that. It does there have you. a medicine cabinet up there. And they put your um, power outlet up there. So it's, on it's, the ceiling. it's up yeah. out of the way. Got some storage down there below. Your heating is going to be in the floor on this one. Wow. And I know you're thinking, where's the rest of the bathroom? Well. Now it does have its own little room. This has its own little room. This now, is the this throne is room. This is nice. <laughs> So, Let me go ahead and demonstrate. Yes. And they give you a porcelain foot flush toilet. You this do is... have an exhaust fan in here. And some hooks in there to hang up your towels and stuff. So. You can do a toilet buggy in here. Okay. Let me move <laughs> on and on. Um, right here they give you this storage cabinet. I don't so, know if the 21 model had this. I don't like we remember. Can't remember. We'll have to go back and look through our archives wow. to see but now your tv is going to mount up here now obviously you don't have just a lot of space um but you could probably get a 27 inch up here probably maybe 24 uh, maybe a 24 you do have uh 19. this is actually your second <laughs> ac unit because there's your second ac now, i'm telling you what you could probably hang some yeah, you could, icicles off your nose. And this <laughs> you one. could probably freeze somebody with these two ACs going. This is awesome. Um, you've got storage all the way around your bed. This is going to be a queen size bed, north south bed. Should be some storage underneath. We'll find out. Okay, here we go. Yes. Yeah. Wow, well, that's not bad. No, that's pretty good storage up under there. Now, because this is a small uh, profile unit, you are going to have a little bit of a step there. That's probably, what, five inches, four or mm -hmm. five inches at the most. Now, I'm going to show this just because it's here. And, of course, a lot of people may not like this, but... Well, yes, but if you have... Um, if you have a guest... And you need to separate your shower from the bed area, yeah, you do so have this. You do have a little curtain, so, so you know. Yes. Of course, this is going to be really more of a couple's camper so you i don't know bring grandchild with you yeah you could hey you may not like the person you're camping with so you don't want to see them shower this is really <laughs> awesome super cute super cute i'm going to back down these stairs wow and give you another quick little look around oh yeah i'm going to call this one short and sweet all right, everybody, if you like this little 24-foot, 10-inch Sportsman fifth wheel, the dealership's information is down in the description. Uh, their website is there where you can click on it, find out how much the exact pricing is, a telephone number, give them a call. 
And if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, and give us a thumbs up. Because if you like to see us sweat, we love to do it. Thanks, everybody. Mm -hmm.